10 Ways to Mess with Your Friends in Minecraft Disclaimer, I'll not be responsible for any friendships being broken or anyone hating you after this video. Number 1. Poisonous Pufferfish What you have to do is wait for your friend to log off the server or either leave their base. Once that friend logs out or leaves their base, it's go time. Replace some of the blocks with a bucket of pufferfish and place a slab over the top. It'll blend in perfectly. That way, when your friend comes back to their base, they're treated with a nice pufferfish surprise. They will be poisoned and possibly killed. Note that the more pufferfish you hide, the harder it will be to find them. Have fun with that one. This one's a little more evil. Go inside or outside their base and break two blocks in front of the door. Break two blocks down once you've done that. Break the dirt underneath the block in front of the door and place a powered rail. Then place however many TNT minecarts you want. Once you've done that, leave a gap in front of the minecarts and fill in the rest. And then place a pressure plate in front of the door. This way, once your friend comes back, they will be blown up along with their base. Number 3. Obsidian Chest This one, as you can tell by the title, is outright rude. You just simply have to place obsidian above your friend's chest. This will prevent them from being able to open their chest and get their stuff. And this is hilarious to watch. This is sped up 8 times, and as you can see, it takes forever. Number 4. Slip and Slide Carpets Now, this one only works if they do have a carpet, but if they do, you want to break it and replace underneath of it with ice. And then, replace the carpet back where it was. Once you've done that, you, they will walk into their base and open their chests as per usual, but realize they're slipping and sliding around, and at this point, they might be fed up of you. Number 5. No Grow Sugar Cane This one is really easy. All you need is to place string on top of their sugar cane. This will stop it from growing any higher than it already is, and it is barely noticeable. Your friend will then come by their new planted sugarcane and realize it's not growing because some pesky person put string on the top. Number 6. Chest Thief For this one, you're going to need a hopper and a chest, and simply just place the hopper underneath the chest into another chest. This way, once they put their items in the chest, the hopper will then automatically take it and put it in that chest underground. So once your friend comes back from a hard day of work and grinding, they'll go ahead and put their items in a chest and might realize something peculiar is taking them away. Number 7. Water Leak For this one, you're going to need a bucket of water and a few stairs and slabs. Break a hole into their attic and just place buckets of water at the top. Replace the hole in the ceiling and it makes this very cool dripping effect. To add on to this, you can replace the floor with stairs and slabs and fill them with water to make it look as if it was dripping for a long time and make this really cool effect. Number 8, Tree Barrier. Now this one is fairly simple. All you need to do is make a barrier of tree saplings all the way around their base. And you're going to need tons of bone meal for this and i mean loads this is sped up so quick and it still takes quite a bit of time but it is well worth it because it i mean just look at this is insane look at this it is a full-on barrier and it's going to take them forever to get rid of the wood and leaves but just keep in mind if you want to speed this up it's going to take probably stacks and stacks and stacks of bone meal and the more layers you add the harder and more funnier it is. Number 9. Rename Pain What you're going to need for this is an annoyingly loud anvil and some sort of valuable like their diamonds, etc. And what you're going to do is you're only going to take some of them, not all of them, because it'll be too obvious, and just rename them to random junk. Now I'm going to speed this up because as you can see this actually takes quite a while. and what you have to do is rename the diamonds to something random, like numbers, letters, um, random symbols, change the names to 
you know, whatever, anything else other than diamond, and they can't be the same. That is the trick. Because if they are the same, they're going to stack up. And we don't want them to stack up. We want them to all be their separate item. So this is why you rename them. Once you're done, you just plop them back where you got them from. Once your friend comes back from their mining trip, etc., whatever they're doing, they're going to come and take their diamonds. And if their inventory is full, this is going to be such a pain. But it is a pain either way because they are all named something different and it just takes up too much space. Number 10, fake TNT. This one is really easy. You need to go in front of their door and break three blocks down and then place a bucket of water at the bottom, TNT above it, and replace the floor with a pressure plate on top. Your friend will then walk inside, step on the pressure plate, and freak out when they hear the sound of TNT to only find out it didn't explode. 